So today on this Forex Mental Live, I want to talk about how to set a goal effectively for Forex trading. And first of all, how many of you already set a goal for this year 2020? Just reply yes or no. I just wanted to see how many of you have already set a goal of this year. Just type yes or no. I have actually set few goals, but I will just tell you exactly what kind of goals I have later. But I just want to be curious, you know, if you have already set the goal of this year or not. Okay, yes, yes. So you have set the goal, basically, right? Or maybe you are in the middle of creating it right now. If you are still creating it, then, then maybe you came to the right timing here. So, and now, so the next question will be, let me ask another question. Have you been able to achieve your goal in 2019? Or first of all, do you remember what kind of goals you were setting in the beginning of 2019? How many of you still remember what goals you were setting in the beginning of last year? If you still remember, just type yes. If you forgot what your goals were in 2019 last year, say no. How about this question? Do you still remember? Remember the last year, uh, the new year, and can you remember what kind of goals you were setting last year? And if you have achieved those goals or not? If I ask this question about last year, in fact, most of the people don't really remember or goals they were setting last year. Or do you even remember the goals in 2018? Two years ago and do you even remember if you have achieved it or not two years ago i guess for the majority of the people the answer is no in fact uh, regards to a goal setting depending on how your how you set the goal it can be very negative to you and i will bring it to you you know it will bring to you like negative feelings to to your emotions and that's what i'm gonna talk about today so depending on how you set the goal in affect you negatively and positively both ways so that's why first of all goal setting the way how you set the goal is very important and especially at this time of year because everybody's trying to create a goal but how you create it is very important that's something that i want to talk about today because if your goal setting is not right you will not only be able to achieve the goal but also you feel the time flies now if you remember the end of uh, 2019 last month how many of you thought that year is already ended and it's too soon right time flies how many of you thought that year of 2019 was just flying off and at the end of the year actually this is what will happen if your goal setting is wrong uh, depending on how you set the goal it makes you feel the time flies wow it's already December <laughs> right time flies in a year and that's depending on how you set the goal so today I will tell you how you set an achievable goal and also to prevent from the feel of time flies I will tell you how you can avoid that I think it's a good timing to talk about this topic in this uh, beginning of the year and if you are still thinking for a goal of this year 2020 after the talk today I wanted to look it back and correct it if necessary uh, in fact this is based on the research at the Duke University that was done in uh, 2015 uh, uh, there's a concept of time famine this is like uh, when you don't have enough like time uh, it's a sense of like uh, no time and actually they did some research on this a sense of no time so like oh man i've got so much to do and i don't have time in a day or i don't have time in a week right if you feel like that that means you have a sense of time frame and that's what duke university did in 2015 they did a research on about this uh, the sense of no time and how they did the research was first uh, they got like uh, 123 members of the female and male and they ask those subjects to remember troubles that are related to money or job and they did a research on how their sense of time is affected by those troubles and actually they found a relation between the sense of troubles and the sense of time they checked and looked into how much the time the subject think or feel that they are spending on certain tasks and what they found was so interesting they've actually found that those who are setting a certain goal has a sense of this uh you know no time like oh my goal i don't have enough time like uh, that's the sense of like no time like you know, time flies and that's what actually what they call a uh, right, goal conflict is happening to those subjects who thought that time flies so the goal conflict is like when goals go against one another like uh for me let's say i want to read books right and like i want to read a lot, lot of books right but i want to play with a dog too if i want to read then all i should do is just reading throughout the day right that should be the first priority but if i want to play with the dog and when i play with the dog i cannot read a book 
things like that. I can feel that I cannot read a book while I'm playing with the dog. Like the goals will conflict with one another. And another example would be, let's say you determine to save money for save money for the year. For example, like save like a uh, ten thousand dollars for a year. But at the same time, you may think, oh, I wanna have a trip to some countries, like uh, saving money. And in that case, like saving money and tripping outside of the country will conflict. In that case, or I wanna work out and lose weight this year, right? For example, you set the goal like that. But at the same time, you may feel I wanna drink a beer, right? You know, or I wanna have a, some steak, right? So like this, when you have two goals or multiple goals that go against with one another, that's when you have a sense of no time. Like that's when you have a sense of less time and that's when the research actually revealed in this Duke University. So for example, when you have a sense of wasting time and regret, the fact that you are actually wasting that time or pressure of not being able to achieve a certain goal actually gives you a tremendous amount of stress on yourself. And because of the stress by time, you will have more and more sense of no time. You will have a more and more of sense of like the time flies. And when you realize whole year is just ended and you might feel you're not able to achieve a goal in that year, you might feel that way. Here's a point. Uh, the point is when you set your own goal, you have to set in a way to avoid the goal conflict. And that's what the researchers actually say. The goal conflict happens when you have multiple goals or multiple tasks. For example, in a day, you might have things to do at the job, for example, like you have to do this and this and also this right in the day before leaving the job, right on the day. You have tasks to do in the day. If you are a type of person who tries to do as many tasks as possible in a day or in a week, then you will also have a feeling that the tasks are not really going well, right? You're not really achieving those the goals in terms of the tasks, right? And this is exactly when you are in time conflict and you cannot be time efficient that way. It's also called uh, time pollution. I forgot which university it said it, but uh, there's a word called time pollution. Like when you have multiple tasks to do in a day, the more tasks you have, the more it creates and increases the conflict, right? Among the tasks. And that will lead you to time pollution and time conflict and eventually you will get stressed out by those tasks and the sense of no time right and eventually you have a sense of the time flies but you're not actually being able to achieve those goals and you might blame yourself in the end right so uh, the question is what should we do how do we apply the goal setting in forex trading so now I don't want to say to you to do like only one task in a day of course not right because we all have different lives and different things to do you cannot just have one task to achieve a day but but here is the solution. This is actually what I do for my goal settings and it's very effective. That's here it says a very big one. Set a concept right based goal. Set a concept based goal. Not based in certain tasks but you set a goal like conceptual. Like uh, let's make day happy. Then after that you branch out the task to do to actually make the day happy. And in that case you can make all the tasks are directly connecting with the concept of a day to achieve it or of a month or of the year. And in this way whatever tasks you do you have a sense of achieving a certain goal and you feel more uh, relaxed when you are actually doing those tasks and you have less sense of uh, the you know no time so um, you know let me tell you my story usually in a day what I usually do is first of all trading of course I trade every day so I trade is one of my tasks and because this is the only job I do uh, forex trading is and also I analyze charts every day and that's something that that I do every day and also after coming to YouTube like this I create videos right and do lives like this and that's the second th uh, trading and also creating videos and lives. Also, my routine will be uh, reading books. Like I read four books at least in a week. So I read books every day, pretty much. Also, I go to a gym and work out regularly. And also I do meditation and taking my dog for a walk. And sometimes, you know, I play the violin because I just like it. I like the music. It's like my hobby, but it's uh, very necessary to uh, relax myself. That's like my daily routine. And when you think about it, if I try to do all these in a day it's a little difficult right like <laughs> I have to trade in a day and maybe I might think like I have to read a book this book that book right and then as I read the book oh I have to go to the gym right things like that and maybe after that oh I have to take a dog my take my dog for a walk and then oh I have to come back to chart and trade things like that I may be so busy if I focus on those tasks in a daily routine 
and I might be in a rush all the time. What I usually do is basically I create a concept of a day. For example, my main concept is I grow myself better than yesterday is my concept of day. That's my like a daily goal. For example, this part of the live streaming, I do better than yesterday. Or this part of the trading, I do better than yesterday. Things like that. Among all the things I do every day, I make myself feel that I grew more than yesterday. That's my goal of the year. And in that way, I do tasks with more interest and more enthusiasm thinking like how can I create better videos than yesterday or how can I improve the live streaming skills than yesterday things like that then I come up with a new concept or come up with a new idea to actually test it out on the videos or on the live streamings like this or of course on, on my uh, trainings maybe you can apply my example to you too like thinking like you know how can I improve myself better than yesterday can be your goal right of 2020 and then break it down to like different tasks you run the PDCA cycle as it says here so you make for example in just filling this uh, you know like less loss in whatever words you want to but for example you can make set the goal like make 2020 this year less loss than 2019 in forex maybe you can set the goal like that you can on every trade throughout the year you can make this year less loss than 2019 i don't know how many loss you have last year but you can put the concept have a less loss than last year then you break it down to monthly you make the month less loss than the last month right this can be a goal right of this year make a month less loss than the last month and then you break it down to weekly right you make a week less loss than the last week so you can kind of break it down from year monthly and weekly it's like a analyzing chart right you have to always go from bigger chart right and break it down to the smaller time frame so like the analysis on the chart you can break down those goals from bigger picture to smaller. After you set the goal of the weekly, then you identify what to do daily. For example, maybe you can look back on your trades daily, trading results and history, and you can identify what to improve to be less loss than last week, right? You can always adjust. By the end of the week, you can look back the, uh, the, the trades of the week, maybe Saturday or Sunday, then you can look back your own trades and spot, right? What you can improve to be less loss than last week, or, or you know, you can put like a more profit than last week. How can you improve it? By looking at your own trade history on Saturday or Sunday, you can plan what to do next week to get more profit or to have less loss, right? And in that way, you run the PDCA every week to achieve the goal of the week and also to achieve the goal of the month and also to achieve the goal of 2020 this year, ultimately. And if you do this, then you never feel that time flies because your goal is conceptual, right? You're not really focusing on the task to do, right? Your goal, your concept is a goal, basically. By thinking like this, your goal setting can be effective this year. So you can put this uh, less loss into any words. Like you can put this make profit, like make 2020 more profit than last year, right? You can do that too. This is just my goal. This example is my goal. I want to make less loss than last week. So that's why I just put it here. But you can switch this less loss to any words that you want to. But the point is you can make this one conceptual and not really in detail in terms of the goal setting of the year. It can be vague and it can be uh, like conceptual. The point is when you are trying to set the goals, it doesn't have to be, it shouldn't be conflict, you know, with each other. It should be all like going along the same way towards the same direction of your own goal of this year it shouldn't be go like one goal should be is like this way another goal is like that way right you cannot do that everything you do like every task you do you do should be towards the goal of 2020 and that's why the big goal should be conceptual 